Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Visual Basic tutorial to help you get that A in your exam. And today we're here with a lookup table. So what is a lookup table? Well, a lookup table is where we're checking if the input is equivalent to a set of certain values that it could be. For an example, if you were to enter an English day of the week, it could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. It can't be anything else to be valid. So that's what we're going to do. This is really handy, especially in um, the AQA exam for coding. Like, there are so many instances where you need to just check if an input is certain values. And this is a really easy way to get that done. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we need to create a function. Function. Look up table. By val. Input as string. By val. List. With brackets. As string. As boolean. So what are we doing here? We're creating a function called lookup table. We're, we're taking in multiple parameters this time. The first parameter is going to be a string. It's a local variable and we're going to call the variable input. The second parameter is an array called list. It's by value again, so this list will take the value of whatever array we pass in. It's a local variable and it's going to be a string array. And this is a boolean function. So what do we do now? Want to do dim found as boolean equals false. This is going to be our variable to see if we have found a match in the list with the user input. And by default, we have not found a match. And if we loop through the whole array and don't find a match, then it's going to be false. Therefore, we haven't actually found anything. Now I'm going to do dim i as integer equals zero. This is going to be our... This is going to be our loop variable, and I need to spell integer properly. Now we're going to do while not found and i less than list dot length. If list i equals input, then found equals equals true. Underneath the end if we do i plus equals 1. And then at the end of the after the end while we do return found. So what does this code actually do? Well basically we're doing a while loop and we're saying while not found implying okay if found is equal to false because putting the nots before a boolean is implying the opposite of true, therefore false. So we're checking if found is false, which it is when we start looping through, and that i is less than the lift, le list length. Basically, have we got elements left to loop through in this array? If the current element we're checking is equal to the input, then there's a match. If there's a match, that means the input is valid. So we're going to set found to true, and we're going to end the if. Then we're going to do i plus equals 1, to say, okay, we're going to go and check the next element of this array of values that are valid inputs. If found is, is true, because we there's a match, then um, this, this loop will stop. Due to the fact that, that not found means found has to be false. If found is true, then not found is no longer a valid thing. And when we have an and boolean um, operator, both of these have to be true. Otherwise, we're not going to do what's underneath. If found is false, then we loop through, obviously, as, as stated before. If um, i is equal to the list length, or is greater than list length, then that would also terminate this loop and return found. Found is obviously going to be true or false. If it's true, then there's a match. If it's false, then there isn't a match. Now we need to actually, um, actually you know, set up the code. So I'm going to do dim words equals new string weird thingy cool men and ducks obviously this array is going to be the array of valid inputs you can have whatever you want obviously it'll depend on the situation but i'm doing this because why not 
dim user input as string equals ducks console dot right line look up table user input and words as you can see we are calling the lookup table method no lookup table function and we're passing in user input which is the first parameter then we're going to pass in the words array which is the second parameter then we're going to do console dot read line and that's all guys. So let's execute the program. This is going to say a true because it's going to return a true. Indeed it did. Let's say we're going to put in cool. It returned a true. Let's put in max. This will return a false. As you can see, I've just demonst demonstrated that this code works. Quite literally guys, you can copy and paste this exact code into your exam, pass in any input and any array which has a list of valid inputs for this particular thing you're doing. And I promise you, this will work if you copy it fully. So this is a nice thing you can just learn, or learn the logic thing, you can reproduce it yourself. But anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Sorry for being quick, I want to keep this tutorial nice and quick. Anyway, thanks for being a great audience, and I'll see you next time.